Have you ever felt like you're missing something with your rovers? Perhaps you're feeling like you need some brake lights? Or possibly feel the need to change your blinker fluids? Well, look no further because I have the solution for you. All right, so for today, we try something different once again, and that is to create a script for the brake and blinker light. Now, I got to say, I'm not a programmer. I don't know how to write code. But with the use of AI, I was able to develop a bit of a script which may already exist. But I did it anyways just to see if I can make it happen. And I was able to do so. So with the script, we can hit spacebar for handbrakes, and that will light up the brakes in the back. And if we press the S key to go backwards. And the moment we let go of them, they turn off. And of course, blinkers. When we press A or left, it blinks on each side, as you see here. And of course, that's based on the steering you see in the front. The house is all done. Relatively simple in terms of a script. Mainly, what we need to first do is the lights. So the lights, we have brake lights, left turn lights, right turn lights as the group name. So you could put a bunch of lights in this kind of grouping for the script. But first, get set these things up. So brake lights, make sure all your lights are in red or whatever color you want for brake lights and change anything else if you need to. Maybe change the radius. It doesn't need to be that bright or intensity. And then your left turn signals. This is where it changes a little bit where you change the color to whatever you want, whether it's white or yellow or whatever the case may be. Once again, change radius, intensity, and everything like that. The only other thing is the blinking. So you do need to do the blink intervals. I have it at one second with 50% length for left and right. So that gives us this kind of blinking right here, which isn't too bad. Once you have those lights all set up, go to your programming block and set up the script. I will have it uploaded in the workshops. So you can subscribe to it and put it into your rovers for your brake lights and also left and right turn signals. So this is the basic script that I was able to get out of two forms of AI prompts. It took a bit of time to get it to work, but it kind of worked out. Not a code writer. I can read it a little bit, but I'm not that big of understanding of it. But I can get by with it. So I just put in some basic prompts, like say, once I break or hit the S key and space bar on the keyboard to light up a light, a group of lights, and also for left and right to turn on those lights as well. So basically, it's just toggling them on and off, really. So here's the script itself. Right here is your naming for the grouping of your lights for the left turn signals, right turn signals over here, and this is your brake light. And also, very importantly, change this cockpit name to whatever your main cockpit is named. So mine is the buggy cockpit. That's why that's there. And then everything else, you could just kind of leave alone. So you just need to change those four things in terms of naming. And you're good to go. You can leave it as this if you like. And just name the groups these here. Left turn. Right turn and brake lights. That works fine too. And of course once you're done. Check code. Hit OK. Recompile. Run. And your lights will be all set. And just to go quickly. If you don't know how to run a script. Make sure in your save file. In advanced settings that you enable in-game grips. Is one thing. And once you get to a programming block. Go to edit and then browse script and you'll find the subscribe script from there, which it will be called break and blinker lights. And of course, right blinking lights right there. As you see, as I'm driving at night, it's a little bit easier to see. And then it's not going to light up the brake lights until I hit the S key or the handbrake. Parking, I was thinking of using that to light up the brakes also, but parking or parking brakes don't necessarily turn on any lights in an actual car so i forego that not necessary whatsoever again not a programmer whatsoever just trying my best to work with ai to kind of get some coding done and see how far i can get from there and it was kind of fun to do it but it did take a lot of time and luckily i do know how to slightly read some code so that kind of helped out a little bit but can you do this without scripts is it possible so I did try to do it without the script, and that is based on thrusters. I put an ion thrusters on this rover right here. So we have backwards thrusting on the bottom right there. And we got our left and right thrusting and also our, or we had, upward thrust for the space bar. 
So I took it out because it doesn't work well. So this rover is based on event controllers. As you see, two in the front, two in the back. The event controller is basically thrust percentage greater or equal than 20% and choosing your ion thrusters. So each ion thruster, I named them to be something else. So backwards as ion thruster B, left and right as L and R. So add those blocks here. And of course, setup action is going to be the groupings of those lights. The brake lights, left turn lights, and right turn lights. So toggle on and then toggle off. So as you see in this rover, if we go left and press A, it toggles the light. If we go right and press D, that toggles the right light. And if we go backwards, that toggles the brake light. So the upward one didn't really work out because if we throw in any thrusters on here, it is going to max out potentially. As you see there. So I couldn't get it to not be 20%. As you see here, all these I just put there is going to be all 20%. So that will always keep the light on. So that doesn't necessarily work. But the event controller with the thrust percentage it's close to it, but then you see there that it's starting to blink a little bit, even though I am not using A or D. But because I have this rover here that's set up to be very slim in terms of the wheels and not wide based, it leans a little to the right and left and it just pushes those thrusters that way. So right there, as I'm driving forward, I'm getting some thrust and it's doing the blinking lights there, but that's where it fails a little bit. And also when I stop thrust or stop going forward, the backward thrusters go on and it's going to do the brake. So it's close, but not necessarily what I want it to be. But definitely the script, the simple script works a lot better. Of course, I use iron thrusters because I'm on the Earth like planet and it's going to not thrust too hard. But it looks like when we're in here with the build info mod on, you'll see that the maximum thrust is 20%. But I guess maybe we could try with the fan-like atmospheric thrusters. That may or may not make it fly. <laughs> I think if we add it to one on each side, it's definitely going to make it fly. But decoration-wise, we're going to slap on two. I mean, we turn one off. That should be okay, too. We also want one going upwards. But I think that's going to max out, as you see there. So that, that's where the space bar one doesn't necessarily work out too well. Is it's always going to be pretty maxed out. So if we're looking at thrusters right now. In terms of upward thrust. They're running at. I think we're, we're maxing out actually. So it's 100% right off the bat. So that's where that doesn't necessarily work. Great. Alright so I changed the event blocks. To go with the coinciding atmosphere thrusters. And 50% thrust hold. For the thrust. But I think the thrust is going to be able to hit 100%. So hopefully it doesn't fly and it doesn't necessarily fly it so that's good it kind of pushes it slightly but it's not too bad and it is lighting it up so it might be better off using these atmosphere thrusters instead of ion thrusters which seemingly works okay and it's not manipulating the movement of it too much backwards however is still an issue because when i'm going forwards nothing happens the moment i let go forwards though the atmosphere thrusters are trying to stop it from going forward. That's why the brake lights are on. So that doesn't really work out too well. But what if we just did like say 100% threshold. So we go forward. Let go. Yeah, it's still on. So it thinks it'll be 100% until it stops. But that's not great. But that needs to be kind of figured out. Space bar, I don't think it's going to happen. So I'm not even going <laughs> to even worry about that too much. But at least we get the blinker lights. So if you feel the need for changing your blinker fluids, you have that there without a script. So of course, if you feel like your rover needs the brakes and blinkers, please check out the script. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below, even to just say hi. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.